Well, welcome friends, and we are a single income couple living life in the Cotswolds, just trying to live our best life on a budget. So today I am cooking boiled rice on the Aga 60. Um, I would say that this is probably foolproof. Um, forgot to record an introduction, so hence you've got me in different clothes, but there we go, that's okay. So coming up is how you would cook, how I cook boiled brown rice on the Aga 60. I hope you enjoy it. So first thing on the agenda, sorry if you can hear my washing machine, it's spinning. I'm going to cook some rice on the Aga 60, so I've got one cup. One and a half cups of rice and to that I'm going to add three cups of water. I wouldn't normally use bottled water but it just saves me running back to the box to the sink for months. So we have one. boiling plate and then it's going in the simmering oven and I just leave it. It only really needs about half an hour but the secret is not to lift the lid. Hence I'm using a glass lid and not one of my anger pans I've got a solid lid because then you can see if all the water's gone you can see the bubbles coming up in the rice. So I have found as I say it might not be the right way but it works for me two measures uh, two measures of water to one measure of rice and that roll and boil on the hot plate then in the simmering oven leave it half an hour and it's done this one and a half cups this size will do us about four or five portions so i will get i will freeze portions put them in the freezer for me in the week and then i'm not having to buy the packets obviously the bagged rice is much cheaper than the stuff that you just ping in the microwave so this is just another way of stretching the budget cooking the pre-cooking the rice yourself bung it in the freezer for when you're ready for it so this is going to go on the hot plate now which i've got set to boiling and that's been heating up so we will leave that till it comes to a rapid boil and then we'll move it down into the simmering oven so we'll be back with you shortly that's my bed and just finished listen to that now this is what I call a rolling boil can you see it don't know whether you can loads and loads of bubbles on the top really boiling quite heartily and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that in the simmering oven I'm not going to touch the lid that is the secret leave the lid on oh it's so hard but that's why i use a ga uh, glass lid if i was doing this on my ordinary hob on an ordinary hob i would do the same thing i would bring it up to a rolling boil then i would turn the heat off leave it on the hob and leave it for a good half hour and you find that all the water's gone and you've got lovely fluffy rice so that is going into the simmering oven and we'll have a look at it in what maybe half an hour or so I think to get it up to a rolling boil took about, I think it's been on there about 10 minutes, so not too long at all. I've been and hung my washing out and dropped washing in and, and it's lovely again. Oh, you don't know what to do, do you? Um, see you shortly when that's finished. So there we go. Beautifully fluffy cooked rice. Ready to go in the fried rice, ready to go in the freezer for meals for the coming weeks. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful and so easy. 
So you do two parts water to one part rice. Bring it to a rolling boil. Switch the heat off if you're doing it on the hob and just leave it. If you're doing it on the agar, I'm using the agar 60, you pop it in a simmering oven and just leave it. And when you come back to it, you've got beautiful, fluffy cooked brown rice. So easy and absolutely foolproof. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'd love you to click the subscribe button and join me in any future videos. Um, I not only cook in the Aga 60, I use the Ninja and I do offer instructions for conventional cooking. Um, I upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, approximately 6am British Mean Time and I would love you to join the family. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to speak to you soon.